Okay, folks, welcome back to Let's Play Wizards and Warriors. Um, I got my group some equipment, uh, weapons mostly. Uh, everything else we're going to take off the corpses of our enemies. Now, um, let's see, I wanted to show you the town. Um, unfortunately, this is an old game and on faster computers. You're supposed to be able to scroll through the town, usually. But these buttons move really fast, so it's kind of like a light touch to get where you want to go. Um, but this is the exit to the graveyard and beyond. We'll be going there shortly. The temple, the town hall. I actually just passed the building. It's very touchy. Oh, there it is. The armory where I bought some equipment. Um, then there's the inn where you roll up your characters tavern when you get rumors and so forth standard role playing game type of thing and the magic shop which we don't have even close enough money to buy anything and um, the other exit to Nymph Lake which will go out later so to start the game uh, you have to join guilds in this game to be able to advance uh, your characters um, so like they can get training and go into their prestige roles and so forth. I only have enough money left over to have one person do that, so I'm going to start with Rashi Bobby to join the Clerics Guild. So let's check this place out. Welcome, my child. I am owned to be a humble priest and keeper of this temple. The Holy Temple is at your service. So she, there's lots of things you can do here. Uh, get blessed and some cast some healing and stuff like that. Put money in the poor box. Uncursed items. Um, review your character. Uh, pool money, which she's already got a pool to her, and join the priest skill. The Brotherhood of Promise bids thee welcome. So now she's a member of the guild, which opens up these other buttons. We got role ascension, so she could uh, go into other roles. Uh, like I said, again, it's like prestige classes, but she's actually going to stay a cleric the entire game and training so she could train in these two stats here which costs uh, more money than I want to spend so that done let's see if he has any quests for us I do have a task I need completed let me see here I received a summons from a toad named Madaka Madaka requests a magic elixir to bring to his people go find this toad and deliver him this ah that goes too fast let's see if I can expand it here Anyway, so we have to take this magic elixir to the lake and deliver it to this toad person. So we will take that quest. Okay, yes, then go and deliver to Mechodob's magic potion. Alright, and let's see if that ended with the quest. Nothing for me right now. Okay. Exit guild, exit temple. Now we're going to go to the town hall, which is where you get a lot of... Uh, quests and things also. And of course there's the main quest as well. Sir Elgin at your service. Welcome to the town hall. How may I be of service? Let's see if he's got any news. Last time I saw Gareth he seemed very upset. But he wouldn't tell me why. It seems very odd and now I am concerned about him. Anything else? I haven't heard any news to tell you. Okay. One good thing by the way. Uh, in the town these guys don't talk, but outside the town, it's all voice acting. Alright, any quests? Yes, I have two jobs available. Uh, first, there is a bounty you can collect. Also, I need someone to deliver a package. Now, I know what that bounty is from the last time I played this, and we can't handle that quite yet, so let's do the delivery. Lord Bernhawk is the governor over at the town of Ishidna. I need you to deliver a package to him. Take this package to Ishidna, and Lord Bernhawk will pay you 250 gold. Oh, yeah. That's half a membership to a guild. Alright. The path to Ishidna is fought with many dangers. Okay, anything else? Something horrible is happening over at the cemetery. We're going that way anyway. The dead are rising from their graves. The other day, a villager said he was a attacked by a skeleton. Garoth warned me that evil is in the air, and it's my duty to protect my people. For every five skulls you bring me, I will pay you 50 gold pieces. I will definitely take that job. 
Now, what's to stop me from just going to any old cemetery and digging up skulls? I don't know. The job is yours. Whenever you turn to me with the skulls, I will gladly pay you the bounty. Excellent. Anything else? That's it. Okay. There is a bank here, too, which I don't, I'm not going to use. But uh, you put the money in here when you go to other towns. Um, you can get the money back. Okay. Now, let's go to the inn. I mean, uh, the tavern. <laughs> What'll it be? Let's see if he's got rumors. I might know a little something if you're willing to pay. You want me to tell you what I know for 50 gold? Sure. That's expensive, but... Yes. A couple of travelers were just in here talking about being robbed. It seems that the gypsies over at Nymph Link are up to their usual. Don't let them get near you. You'll be missing something in no time. I've heard they keep their stash hidden beneath an old abandoned boathouse. But no one knows how to get ahead. Ah, excellent. Uh, I don't know what happens if you drink. Let's try it. Uh, I'll keep them coming as long as you don't turn green in the face. Alright. Exit tavern. So we have our first thing to do is to go to the cemetery. So we leave the town and go into 3D land. As if a thousand eyes watching, though the air is filled with the murmurs of the forest, your ears can only hear the distant echo of Lorenz's final warning. Beware the Maven Sword, for it will destroy you. Okay. The little bugs, fireflies. This is the entrance back into the town, and this is the road to the graveyard. I think the graphics are pretty good. Although, it did come out, this is like 2000, so even when it came out, it was a little behind, but I think it's kind of uh, charming. Three this is clown. I think I'm gonna uh, have to. I don't know, I feel like a racial profilist, but this guy, he just looks kind of evil and creepy, so I'm gonna lie and say he's not there. I see. I hope you are not deceiving me. I do. Well, actually. Like children who are not trustworthy. Did you call me a child? Alright, on to the cemetery. Oh, a little history. So, D.W. Bradley, the guy who's behind this, the name behind this game, he was the brainchild between... between... he was a brainchild of Wizardry uh, 5, 6, and 7. I believe that series had 8 games. I know it had 8 games. Um, and those are considered to be the 3 best. Um, this game has very a lot of similarities. It has the, the rattling type race and uh, some of the odd classes for a Western fantasy, like uh, ninjas and samurais and Valkyries and so forth. Um, one thing that's different, though, in this game is uh, there's no sci-fi elements in uh, uh, Wizardry's. Six and seven, there was definitely some sci fi elements to the, the fantasy game. Alright, onward march. Okay, we got all the fight. Trollkins. Okay, this is turn based. And basically, they'll just wait for me to go. So here we go. Sir Diggles will swing. Kill them in one shot. Let's go get this guy. Alright. Missed. Trix McGuffin. Missed. Lusashi. Missed. Listera. Missed. Rashi. Alright. Back Trix again. And he's down. 
So, uh, they drop stuff. Uh, some of the things, if you just walk over them, they'll pick them up, and some don't. It is hard to target them here. Let's see what we got over here. See, the bag just came up, but the sword doesn't, so. Usually the goodies get picked up, and then you have to decide if you want the weapons. Alright, we're almost at the cemetery. Ah, here we are. And if you notice, when we first came out, the stars were... Well, that's a weird effect. That the stars were out, but it's becoming daylight. This does have a day and night sequence. Ah, see this glitch? This happens occasionally. It does fix itself eventually. Nice shot. Musashi. Mistera. He's down. So, no skill. That's weird. Maybe we picked it up. No. Yeah, I guess they don't all have skulls. That's disappointing. Uh, by the way, this is kind of real time when you're walking around, so something could just walk up in this <laughs> while you're sitting here looking at your stuff. All right. Oh, another one. That's my axe. You just don't know it yet. Get him. Tricks. Nice shot. Musashi. Now there's a skull. That's worth 10 gold. And an axe. Everything you find is unidentified. It's kind of a pain. I have to get my wizard identify spell as soon as possible. You also have to keep track of those hit points because if they can die without you knowing it. Misses. Lots of misses. He gets a little bit. Alright, that's better. Nice. No skull. God damn it. Alright, continuing on. Oh, here's a dude. I'm gonna have to heal him soon. Misses, misses, misses. He's down. There's a skull. Alright. I think I'm getting very close to my time, but let's see what we can do. Oh, that shield's mine, boy. Alright, excellent. Do that right now. Just so happens that Douglas is skilled with sword and shield.